Today on Houston Life, find out how a pizza delivery man is inspiring and motivating a community after dishing up a slice of kindness. Plus, cheers to dry January. See what's on the, te- the shelves at Sipple, the first booze-free bottle shop in Texas. Plus, it is HL Obsessions Day, New Year's edition. From staying organized in 2022 to hitting the reset button on your health, we're sharing our favorite local products and discount codes as well. And we are chatting with the local candidate in the running to bring Guy Fieri's next franchise to Houston on Food Network's Guy's Chance of a Lifetime. All that happening today on Houston Life. Live from Studio B and KPRC2, Houston Life starts now. Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome to Houston Life on this January 24th, 2022. I'm Derek Shore. And I'm Lauren Kelly. Courtney Zavala is still in quarantine, but she's going to join us in just a second. Still in quarantine. I got to say, if you're going to be stuck at home, a rainy day is a great time to do just that. We were just talking about that, right? Like with the cozy Uggs, with the cozy blanket, with some soup. Oh ideal day to stay home. Well, on Guy Fieri's show, we're going to meet the contestant, the local woman, uh, later on in today's show. It was just announced today by Bravo that Top Chef Houston finally has an air date. Oh! It's coming up in March. I believe March 3rd is when the show will premiere. So finally, we'll be able to tune in for that, Lauren. Very exciting. That sounds good. So guess what I got to do this weekend? What? I got to go wedding dress shopping. (gasps) Oh. I will tell you all about it coming up because we have a really uh, great story to go along with it. But first, I do want to get to Courtney because, I mean, I feel like I should be shopping while Courtney's at home. I should be shopping in Courtney's closet. So I just need like a little view inside of Courtney's closet is what I really need. If Courtney were awake right now, (laughs) perhaps you could ask her advice. Courtney, anybody home? I'm sorry. I had a brief moment. (laughs) from doing dishes and providing meals. I feel like every time I sit down, my phone rings. It's one of my kids either FaceTiming me. I'm hungry. Oh, from, from upstairs. From upstairs. <laughs> What's the Netflix uh, password? <laughs> so Courtney, you told me over the weekend, and I can't believe I didn't connect the dots. I mean, you are taking this quarantine thing seriously. The boys are both quarantining in separate rooms upstairs. Is that what's happening? That is correct. So Connor is now on day seven. Um, He tested positive last Monday and we thought, you know, we were in the clear. So I quarantined, you know, he was pretty sick as well. Um, AJ was separated. Connor was completely isolated in his room and, you know, we were masking. We were spraying this every two seconds. You know, it was just crazy. He's eating on paper plates and plasticware. Well, sure enough, Sunday, yesterday, AJ said, Mom, my throat hurts. Oh, no. I'm coughing. I don't feel so good. So we went for a test for him, and he's positive. So um, I am, knock on wood, the last man standing in my house to still have a negative test. Orlando, if you remember, December 2020 yeah. was positive, got really, really sick. Um, you know, we've, we're all vaccinated. So, I, you know, we're in for it again. So AJ actually has more um, stronger symptoms than Connor did. So they're both in their separate rooms. Connor's still positive. We're just, you know, crossing our fingers that we just get over this hump. I could not believe y'all oh. when they told me he was positive. Yeah. I could not believe it. It's so disappointing. You know, I mean, do all you can to keep everybody separate and keep everything clean. Courtney, you have to feed your children. So thank goodness you're still negative. But man, it's so disappointing to see that positive. Well, and I know it's not a vacation for you, yeah. Courtney. I know it's a lot of work being <laughs> at home. Frustrating. Hey, uh, quick question. I know we're going to see you later on in the show, but yeah. Before we let you go, did you just repaint your wall at home? That is such a beautiful wall color behind you. Thank you. You know what? No, it's actually um, been like this for a long time. I think during, you know, 68 shows from home, um, I ended up just going from like the white wall because of the gaming situation and everything that was going on. And, And Orlando was also working in this room. So it was kind of tight quarters. But giving you a different view of the green wall. It looks lovely. I like it. Very, very (laughs) nice. All right. Well, maybe you could give us a tour of the rest of the home. You know, (laughs) the rooms that don't have sick children in them. 
<laughs> Let me tell you something. It's a total disaster. I mean, the other day I posted about like my Valentine's. I got this done and ordered and, and everything's great. But my Christmas lights are still up outside. Laundry's crazy. The house is a mess. There's Lysol and spray everywhere. I mean, it's just it's we're a disaster. We're lucky we're even, you know, looking presentable right now. But Lauren, I'm so excited because I cannot wait to hear did you find the dress? Oh. oh my gosh, I just want to squeeze you. I'm so excited. <laughs> you know, Courtney, I have absolutely no idea what I was looking for. So the lovely ladies who helped me kind of helped me narrow it down. I did not find the one, but I sure did okay. have fun trying them on. <laughs> okay. okay. Finally, so right? Fun. I know. I'm so excited for you, Lauren. I can't wait to just like catch up. And you too, Derek. I feel like I haven't seen you guys in, you know, Two weeks. <laughs> I know. We miss you, Courtney. Oh. Well, listen, put on that eye, eye patch and uh, take a 10 minute power nap, and we'll see you in just a bit. How does that sound? Okay. The eye mask. Okay, I'm going back. Okay. I'll see Sleeping you in. <laughs> Bye, Courtney. <laughs> Very nice. Well, shopping for a wedding dress is a really big deal. So, you know, really quickly, shout out to the ladies at Ventura Bridal. It's right over there near the Heights. That was my first stop. I wanted to go there because they have a ginormous selection. Like I said, I have no idea what I want. I had Veronica helping me. I had Virginia helping me. Lovely ladies. Did not find the one. But they were asking me, you know, my proposal story. And speaking of course. Courtney's children having COVID, that's what happened. Like my fiance, Gabriel, had a big plan, but we all got COVID, so all of our family had to stay home. And I wouldn't say that that was a proposal gone wrong, but it was just kind of a different story than probably what he originally wanted to have, right? Yeah, but, but some proposals go horribly horribly wrong totally. i mean you've, you've seen these videos on youtube where a couple is like you know a guy's proposing to a woman on the on the rocks on the beach and then a wave comes and, and washes them both away the ring oh that could you bad. imagine yes yeah, so i have to mention this this is wedding proposals gone wrong we saw this story at, online and i just cringed for all the girls that were telling it it was on the knot which is a website that i've been looking at a lot more yeah. it helps you plan your wedding and stuff this one kind of got me because she said quote my husband accidentally said Said, will you be my husband? <laughs> <laughs> I know that all the guys get choked up and they lose their train of thought. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are so many wonderful, cringeworthy stories about wedding proposals gone wrong that you guys have to log on and read those. Oh my gosh! It is wow. so funny. Well, that's a that's a good one. I'm glad yours went off without a hitch, Absolutely. despite the fact that half right. your family couldn't be there. That's okay. We'll just have to do it again, yeah. and I'm okay with that. Why not? <laughs> Well, listen, something caught my eye today. How about a four-day work week? Oh, sign me up. How does that sound? You need not say more. Well, so we've all heard of the great resignation, right? So last year in 2021, this idea of the great resignation happened because we saw in record numbers people leaving their jobs. And yeah. suddenly companies were scrambling to keep their best people mm -hmm. to attract new great talent, yeah. offering all kinds of incentives. So <laughs> there are companies in the UK that have already started doing this. In fact, there's a mobile app based bank. It's called Adam Bank. They shifted to a four day work week last November. The CEO says productivity has increased. So has the mental and physical well being of employees. Oh, yeah. 90% of the employees said they could take on their workload within that four days. Okay. And in case you're wondering, no, they did not reduce their salaries. So they kept them the same. Same job one day less. Yeah, and experts are even saying that it's better for the companies because even though you have fewer work days during the, the week, employees are less likely to call in sick or experience burnout. So overall, efficiency and productivity goes through the roof. I will play devil's advocate here because okay. I love the idea, but every time we come back after having a Monday off, do we not all say this is the longest short week I've ever had? Like it never fails. You have one week, one day off, and then you're scrambling to play catch up, and I feel like the week is now turned into seven days. Because you feel like the workload is, is increased. Yeah, well, a lot of us have jobs where in order to take time off, you have to kind of right. scramble and do work in advance yeah. so that you know your work doesn't pile up. Also, it is kind of terrible to come back from vacation. My email inbox is already oh. a disaster, but you come back after a long weekend, yes. and it's like, oh my gosh, this email alone is a full-time yes. job. Yes, yes. But I'm telling you, if you do offer me the four-day work week, I'm still going to take it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to pass that up. Why not? <laughs>
<laughs> All right, still to come on Houston Life. It is so easy, even a toddler can do this. You are not going to want to miss this story. The online shopping spree that is creating quite the buzz online. Oh, yeah. And later we're chatting with the local caterer bringing her grays to Guy Fieri's latest food network show, Guy's Chance of a Lifetime. That and so much more when Houston Life returns. Well, this story is super adorable and also makes you wonder if you should keep your uh, cell phone under lock and key. Yes. So did you hear about this? A 22-month-old toddler, this kid is still in diapers, he bought nearly $2,000 worth of stuff online from Walmart using his mom's phone. I mean, it's a push of a button, right? Yeah. Not so, even a button, just the touch of the screen. And it wasn't from start to finish. His mom had already started the shopping process. Oh. So she had a shopping cart oh. filled with furniture, all kinds of like flower stands, chairs, other items. That's this is scary. the little man right there. Oh. And so she had her shopping cart already going. And apparently they didn't realize in the moment what had happened uh -huh. until days later, all kinds of gigantic boxes you can see them right there on your screen some of them so big they had trouble fitting through their front door oh my goodness these boxes started showing up and the dad was like what? why <laughs> why did you order woman all of these items and she's like I don't know what's going on so here's the thing that is a screenshot uh, our affiliate in New York City okay. our NBC affiliate there uh, they did this story online here's the thing this little man is so smart, 22 months old. What else? Using the NBC New York reporter's phone, he was able to close the calendar app, send an email to the reporter's mother, what? and then search through the contacts <laughs> in the phone. <laughs> What kind of TV is this little kid watching? Yeah, so the parents say moving forward, they will be putting some passcodes yeah. or like maybe a better password on the phone so oh. he can't crack the code. That is just too funny and adorable. Kids though. are so savvy. I they remember so my niece smart. London, she was maybe eight, 18 months old. Yeah. I took a photo of her. She turned my phone, to, phone yeah. around and reached out and swiped. Oh, right. <laughs> To see like, the photos. I mean, like they just know. Ju they know what to do. That's crazy. That's so crazy. But now let's bring in Joe Sam, who has got our question of the day. Hey, Joe. Hey, guys. Happy Monday. Yeah, that sounds like my nephew. <laughs> he did this all the time with my Xbox system, Xbox system. He needs an update. He'll come and update it for me because I don't know how to do it. Wow. So they learn so quick, quick. nowadays. Mm -hmm. hey, it's 2022. Of course, you guys, we want to hear from you. What's a purchase that you've had to hide? And we already have those responses coming in. Let's check out the big board. Jan, she writes, close shoes in my closet leave them there at least a day then when he asked when I got them say well they've been there <laughs> <laughs> like she's never got I don't it know before. I like that one Juan writes in I didn't hide it since I took it took her to it but definitely never told her to price the price of the world oh, series tickets oh yeah those are quite pricey but maybe that could be a surprise for her right true true and say hey yeah. it's a date night erica writes in any of my favorite snacks at home that i don't want anyone else to touch <laughs> that's me too i have a secret compartment where i put everything <laughs> away in of course you guys we want you to head over to the houston live facebook page join that conversation and we'll share more of your comments a little later on in the show i know you guys are hiding things within your homes from brandon and gabe i know you guys are hiding a lot of stuff. Oh, really, I don't know Joe? what you're yeah, talking you know about. <laughs> Expose it all right now. I don't hide anything anymore, but I think I told you guys, when I was 16 years uh -huh. old, I bought a car. Oh, wow. You Without what? telling my mom. I hid it from my mom. Ooh. And it was a used, like, the old Honda Accord with the flip-up lights. Uh -huh. a stick shift. It was super cool. Black. I loved that car. Anyway, um, my well, mom. You hid it? Would, How do you hide? I parked it down the street in front of my neighbor's house and walked. And my neighbors told my mom, and I had to take it back to the woman. Who oh, your wow. neighbors busted you. They oh, did. Man. Oh, they oh, did. Goodness. Mm -hmm. Not good at all, dude. Thank you, nice Ware community. family, for busting me. <laughs> Not bitter. Not bitter after Not all bitter. these years. Not bitter. <laughs> Oh, All right, Joe. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> well, after the break, it is HL Obsessions Day from a health and wellness product to the service that, get this, comes to your home to help you purge. Oh, yes. Courtney and I will share some of our favorite local businesses, plus, of course, promo codes to help you save. Houston Life will be right back. Welcome back. Courtney and I, you know by now, we love shopping small, so our monthly series of HL Obsessions continues. Today we are featuring some great local products, including all-natural vegan baked goods. And if you love these products as much as we do, 
As always, we have discount codes for you today as well. As a reminder, these are simply products we love to share. We aren't paid or compensated. Why don't we bring in Courtney now, hanging out at home. Courtney, you're going to get us started with one of your favorite local businesses. Yes, I'm so excited about this. This is one of my favorite monthly segments that we've been doing for such a long time. And of course, when you think about New Year, you think January, start new, everybody wants to get organized again, right? So whether you're talking about your closet, your pantry, this is the girl you need in your life. We are talking about Rachel Dickerson, and she owns a beautiful mess. Don't you love the name of her business? She started a beautiful mess in 2017 after helping basically family and friends get themselves tidier and more organized and she found there was a real need for so many people who needed her in her life I am one of them she now has a team that helps many take back what is most important to them personally working with Rachel I will tell you was a dream she and her team organized my closet we went through the purge which is what you do first that's when you do the overhaul she recommended a system for me her team came in put took everything out put everything everything back together, color-coded everything, organized everything, matching hangers, and this is life-changing to be able to see everything and working with the material and the things that you have. It just is, is so wonderful. For me in my closet, it's great. The kitchen pantry, everything that she uses, unbelievable. I love, love, love a beautiful mess. So here's the thing. All you need to do is mention Houston Life to receive 15% off. This is the time to do it. I know it's one of these monkeys on people's back that they're like, listen, I got to get organized. Just call on them. Lean on Rachel and her team. Uh, the code is going to expire Monday, February 7th. So go on and give them a call or log on to a beautiful mess 101.com to get yourself organized. You will thank yourself. Okay. This is something you need to do for yourself for this year. Okay. So one once you get yourself organized, now is time to hit the reset button, what we always think about in January, right? Well, I'm leaning on a crystal at Alternative Wellness Solutions, and you've seen Crystal Hammett here on the show. She's a local certified nutritionist offering great solutions to naturally improve your health. And her best-selling program is the 14-Day Reset. This is a detox kit, so it's a medical-grade, effective, an enjoyable detox program. The benefits, of course, weight loss. Get rid of the bulge in the tummy, right? Like we've all been eating and drinking so much during the holidays. Cleaner thinking, basically clarity, right? More energy, improved hair, skin, nails, less joint pain. Also, better sleep, okay? All of this kind of like works together. That's what I did. I leaned on her and said, Crystal, help me. I need to hit the reset button. I've been doing this now since January 5th and I'm completely obsessed. Why wouldn't I be? That's why I'm talking about it today. So here's what you're doing. You're drinking one or two detox shakes. I mostly do this in the morning. I've posted about this. They're yummy. You feel full. The other one to two meals that you're eating a day are very clean. So you're not eating pizza or chips and queso. Okay. You're really focusing on your fruits, your vegetables, clean eating, grilled chicken, fish. Um, and you can do a more intense reset for 28 days, which is basically what Orlando and I are doing right Right now in the kit you're going to receive the functional detox powder the vanilla protein powder and also um, a grocery shopping list and all the details to get you settled um, hl promo code you use houston life to receive 15 percent off all supplements and this code expires the end of the month january 31st it's a perfect time derek to hit that reset button oh my gosh courtney okay we love it the organization getting your body on track how about a little vegan dessert how does that sound yes sign and, me up you know, i heard you talking about this today yeah and plant-based it's better for you it's better for the environment that is dylan carnes right there on your screen rock star round of applause for her 12 years ago she started Houston's first 100% vegan bakery. She was baking in her parents' kitchen. Within six months, she had moved into a commercial kitchen, began selling at Whole Foods and cafes. Eventually, she expanded into the cafe next door. So, Sinful Bakery now is open seven days a week, so guests can always stop by, stock up. I was there this morning picking up these products. They've got free Wi-Fi. You can have a meal with family or friends. Check out these baked goods, people. So it's not just about, you know, donuts and cookies. They also have kolaches, these vegan breakfast sandwiches, 
coffee if you want to stop by in the morning, mac and cheese, specialty cookies. One of my favorites is actually their vegan cookie dough. It comes in a little clamshell. They are ready to bake, but because they're vegan and they don't have eggs in them, you can eat the cookie dough raw. So I got to tell you, at our house, the cookie dough never makes it past the refrigerator. We never bake them because we end up eating it uh, totally raw. But this granola is great with yogurt, all kinds of things that can get your day going. Again, 100% vegan even this delicious little it sort of looks like sausage but it's not so check them out they're right there in midtown on webster at hamilton street just across from third ward the hl promo code discount it's only good in store so simply walk in mention houston life you can get 20 percent off your order the code is good through valentine's day february 14th and again dylan carnes started this a dozen years ago look how it's grown today not just in whole foods but heb tons of local coffee shops and cafes so you've probably seen this brand before but go to the mothership and visit them in midtown courtney that was fun i wish i could share one of these i swear these are two pound cinnamon rolls right here but i'll save one for you how does that sound please do it all looks delicious and i love hearing her story how incredible it is fantastic and to our viewers in case you missed any of the promo codes do not worry as always we have them posted on our website houstonlife.tv courtney it was great to see you my friend it's great to see you i miss you mucho i miss you too good luck uh with all of the <laughs> with all the quarantine foods there at home we'll check back <laughs> in with you later this week Sounds good. All right. What do you say we turn things over to Lauren Kelly now highlighting another great local business. This one, Lauren, perfect for dry January. Derek, you took the words out of my mouth. Coming up, meet the husband and wife team behind Houston's only booze-free bottle shop and learn how they're supporting the sober community. And we'll get a check of what's coming up for the news at four, including a look at your afternoon forecast. Houston Life is back in two minutes. Welcome back to Houston Live. Derek Shore here along with Lauren Kelly at 328 p.m. Yes, let's get to more of your responses from our question of the day. Earlier we asked, what is a purchase you have had to hide? All right, Anne says, I used to hide the receipts, not the items, still do. Oh, wow, That's that is a pro smart. tip right there. <laughs> Jamie writes in, I'm going to get in trouble just for reading this post. My wife should be calling me any second now because she has telepathy. <laughs> she heard me read this in my head. Uh-oh. <laughs> that is such a husband thing to write. Carla writes in, I used to keep new shoes in the trunk of my car. I would put them on and then rub the soles on the concrete driveway. <gasps> then my husband would say, are those new <gasps> shoes? I would say, no, see the soles I've had these. You just don't remember them. <laughs> This is evil. Oh, wow. It's very smart. I'm very, very smart. Do you, you said you didn't hide anything. No purchases, really. No, and I still don't. I mean, I guess when I was a kid, too, I used to hide, like, chocolate chips. My okay. mom would keep them in the freezer, so every once in a while I would fish a bag out of chocolate chips. Just take them to your room. Oh, yeah, and I'm pretty sure I learned that trick from my sister Elizabeth. So, Liz, oh. thank you. I don't do it anymore. No. What about you? I don't really hide anything, number one, because I've always had, like, I make my own money. I buy what I want to buy. But yeah. I will say, anything gift wise for my fiance Gabe he is a snooper whether it's a <gasps> birthday or Christmas I have to hide it at like my parents house because he will go around looking for it you're kidding mm -mm. Mm -mm. but then Every, it blows the surprise I know but he he's like I gotta find it you gotta tell me or I gotta find it has he put anything on the uh, the wedding registry yet oh he asked me if he can register for a dirt bike so um, <laughs> that's where we are <laughs> Well, that doesn't like, seem... Like, I need China and a blender. At all. <laughs> Not a dirt bike. So what'd you say to him? I laughed and I said, you can maybe pick our song. You're out of the registry. Oh, oh, look, Brandon. Lauren and Gabe's uh, <laughs> wish list ju just arrived. Let's see, they want spoons, some plates, a dirt bike, <laughs> a hand blender. What am I going to do with a dirt bike, Derek? I don't no, know, but he could figure out a few things. <laughs> It's off the list. Okay, I think you should say yes. <laughs> Why don't we check in with Keith, Christine, and Frank for a look at what's coming up at 4 o'clock. So, guys, free dirt bike rides coming up. <laughs> he sounds like my kind of guy. I'm just saying. I think, vroom, I think vroom. what we should do is get him, like, a dirt bike ornament to yes. signify your first Christmas and say, honey, this is our first compromise. Oh. Right. That is a wonderful <laughs> idea, Christine. That's a terrible <laughs> compromise. Uh, yeah, I, don't, I don't think he's going to go for that, but uh, you can try it. Just get him some dirt. Tell him the bike next year. Right. <laughs> also a good idea. Yeah. A gift in oh stages. <laughs>
<laughs> you know, you guys, I used to hide my clothes from my sister oh. growing up with siblings, especially sisters. Mm. I mean, I mean, oh, man, they get their hands on everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was the one oh, thing yeah. I used to hide. Yeah. I, I have to hide uh, Christmas presents and stuff from my wife because she's the same as your fiance, Lauren. Uh, she just, she wants to know. And she, I mean, she, she doesn't necessarily go looking, but she's okay if she she's finds it. She's not right looking. Or she'll ask, like, yeah, yeah, what, what, and I, you know, let's wait till the day. And you're such an out. honest guy, too, I, so the I try to be, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Except, look, I, I hid something for Kevin uh -huh. for Christmas. Yes. He found it last week. Because <laughs> you forgot where it was. Because I forgot where it was. I'm like, oh, oh that's for Valentine's you for Christmas. Like, I'm Merry Christmas, it. Kevin. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. It's just a little thing. So, I mean, yeah. I it's an early gift for right. this birthday. Christmas. <laughs> His birthday is, is birthday's next week, Groundhog Day. Oh, there, there oh. you go. There you go. <laughs> it's an early, early birthday yes. gift. Happy Groundhog Day. Yeah. You, you just made it a, a treasure hunt. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> You know what's not a gift this weather today? Oh. You know, oh. it's a little drizzerable. Yeah, I know. Unless you're a hydrangea, then you're like, oh, this feels good. Yeah. Yes, that's what I was meant for. <laughs> it's not that bad. We, you know, we're a little droughty out there. It's uh, been, generally been on the light side, but it is a drizzerable out there. 48 degrees right now, cold, 52, 52, 57. So you, you have to wear something to keep you warm and to keep you dry. And these numbers don't change. I love this guy. This is Petey, little Petey. He said, hey, can I get the remote? Uh, temperatures continue, really, I just put them at 50 because they're not going to change much as we go into this evening. That rain will eventually move on out. It's doing a pretty good job of getting out of here right now. So give it another few hours and we'll be on the dryish side. You can see the rainfall total so far, maybe a half an inch to almost an inch in spots. And honestly, that's been about it. So you look at the wide shot here, a lot of dry air trying to move in. It'll still be a little cloudy and it's going to be on the cold side. The future cast continues to keep at least some rain in through about 8 o'clock. And then we dry out, and tomorrow the sun is back. But the cold air is going to be with us. The damp evening, cold week ahead, more rain on Friday. I actually blogged about this cold week ahead. I found that shot on Click to Pins. That just looked like a drizzleable shot. It so. does. But he's cute. He's like, I'm <laughs> not going fun. out there. I'm just going to stay right here. Right. All right, Frank, thank you. Here's a look at some of the other stories we're covering for you at 4 o'clock this afternoon. First, breaking developments in the weekend shooting that killed a corporal with Harris County Precinct. Five. Houston police releasing this photo of the man they say shot and killed that corporal. The suspect is Oscar Rosales. A $60,000 reward is being offered for information that leads to his capture. Two of his relatives have also been charged in connection to this case. All of the late breaking developments starting at 4 o'clock. Plus, today officially begins the start of the IRS tax season when you can actually start filing your 2021 income tax returns. The IRS is already backlog so what does that mean for your returns and your refund we will reveal the number one thing you should be doing to get your refund back as soon as possible plus important news for all of you who promised that it would be a new year new me right so let's talk about starting a new workout it can be more than just a physical challenge though how you can mentally set yourself up for success in a new fitness routine so lots to cover today at four o'clock you too okay and right. it's never too late even nope. if you didn't start working out in january right. february is right around the corner yep. you, you got go. it <laughs> That's my plan anyway. Me too. <laughs> Dirt bike season's right around the corner too. No. <laughs> okay, guys, we'll see you at four o'clock. All right. Whether you live an alcohol-free lifestyle, are struggling to get to the finish line of dry January, or are just looking to cut back on the booze, you might want to take a stop at Sipple. It's the new booze-free bottle shop in Houston's Rice Village. It's such a cool name mm -hmm. as well. From non-alcoholic wine to functional spirits, husband and wife team Danny and Helenita Fraunfelkner have something in stock for every sober curious person. Sipple opened its doors on October 16th of 2021 and it's basically a non-alcoholic bottle shop. So imagine a liquor store without the liquor in many of the bottles. We carry around 50 brands, 150 products, give or take. We're not the Amazon of the alcohol-free world, nor do we want to be. Uh, we are purposely like looking for the best. You know, if we stock it and carry it, we stand behind it. And I always tell people, if I won't drink it, it's not here. Yeah, and I think people come in the store and they're like, is this good? Is this good? Is this good? And we're like, yeah, everything is great yeah. here. We don't, we're not carrying like adult grape juice. It's, uh, it is really high quality, delicious stuff. So it's really exciting. If you're a true Texan, you know what a ranch water is. 
So this actually has a lime, agave, lime, and sparkling water, and extremely highly effective CBD through their nanotechnology. And this is like the golden standard for sparkling alcohol-free wines. This is definitely more champagne adjacent. So this is Spiritless Kentucky 74. It's a non-alcoholic bourbon. So they actually make bourbon and de-alkalize it. We, I believe, when we opened, we're the seventh bottle shop company in the US, and we're the first non-alcoholic bottle shop in all of Texas. So this is something very new. I think the pandemic shined a huge light on people's drinking habits and health habits. Um, so from the pandemic, a silver lining that came was that there was a spotlight on the actual non-alcoholic beverages, so it became a, a rise of demand. And then that's where we saw some actual non-alcoholic bottle shops opening up. I've been in beverage and hospitality for over 20 years now. Um, I had a very unhealthy relationship with alcohol. I had to like look myself in the mirror and look at why I'm drinking, you know? And I think really what it is, is I actually wanted to live my life with more intention, more mindfulness. So I wanted to find that balance. Um, so I cut back majorly and um, it was amazing. We got better sleep, higher functioning, more patient with my kids. And then the pandemic stopped altogether and that's where Sipple came to be. Since we opened in October, it's just been like phenomenal to see how Houston has responded to this store. I mean, I think we knew we were onto something big, but we had no idea and everything. Every month has just exceeded our expectations, you know? We've bootstrapped this whole operation, you know? It, it's just the two of us kind of grinding away and it's just been amazing so far. I think that there's a big negative, you know, perception of not drinking. There's a lot of judgment that comes with it. There's embarrassment that comes with it for some people. And I think we're here to kind of shift that narrative from, you know, why aren't you drinking to, you know, what are you drinking? So we want to support full inclusion. So come as you are, drink what you want. No matter what your why is, you're taking a night off, a week, a month, a year, lifetime, it doesn't matter. We got you, we have options, but we also support you in, in that, whatever your journey is. And you still gotta have like full tasty beverages. And I always say full flavor, zero downside. So it's awesome. Go team. Yeah. Doesn't that look great? That is such a nice, refreshing thing to hear. Like, even when I'm out with my pregnant friends who are like, I need a good mocktail. I still want something that tastes good, that's refreshing. Totally. It's a perfect place to take them. Well, and you may recall Danny was actually on mm -hmm. Houston Life. He was on set in December of 2018 yep. before he went booze free. Yeah. And he's so good at what he does. I just, I, I love the idea that, again, you can, you don't have to drink alcohol right. to have a great time. And plenty of people do not. Mm -hmm. And there are so many great options out there. I Absolutely. hope their business takes off like crazy. And I have to say that this is super refreshing. It's the ranch water. There's a little bit of CBD in this, but it it doesn't give that like really true bitter taste. Some people are a little bit hesitant with ranch water because they drink it with tequila, but this is not obviously no tequila added. This is fantastic. What do you have? Well, this is their version of an old fashioned. Okay. So this is a functional nightcap old fashioned. That's okay. what they call it. Three spirit nightcap, all the bitter aromatic bitters and some uh, aramena cherries, amarena mm. cherries, I believe. Well, cheers. Delicious. Yeah. Who needs the booze? No. We'll make it through this January. Cheers to dry cheers. January. <laughs> All right, for the full recipes for these zero-proof cocktails, all you have to do is join our KPRC2 Insider Program. Just head to click2houston.com slash insider to sign up and get access to the full article. Mm, that really is mm -hmm. delicious. Now let's check back in with Joe Sam on this Motivation Monday. Hey, Joe. Hey, guys. Hopefully you're saving me a mocktail over there. I will definitely love one. But you know what? We are going to get into this Motivational Monday. They say a little kindness goes a long way. Well, coming up, I'll show you how this Houstonian's friendly encounter turns into a community wide effort. Houston Life will be right back. Stay with us. Welcome back to Houston Life. You know, everyone craves a taste of love, especially after having a frustrating day. And that's exactly what a Clear Lake resident received when a pizza delivery guy dished out her order with a little kindness on the side. Lydiette Rosas wasn't in the best of moods after waiting over three hours for her pizza, but after her encounter with the delivery guy, she made a post on the Talk of Clear Lake Facebook group, which says, in quote, he delivered to my house and was so sweet. He's advanced in age and walks with the cane, yet he he continues to work just like the rest of us. That post was so motivating to her and many members of that private group. Now take a look. This is the guy, Gary Doctors. Now he works at the Domino's on El Dorado Boulevard and 
What Lydia discovered was that he's not only battling cancer, but also has arthritis, causing his left hip to be in constant pain, which is why he moves very slowly delivering those pizzas, but manages to do it every day in order to make a living. Now, Lydia originally only tipped him six bucks, but stopped him before he drove off and gave him all the cash he had in her wallet. It kind of helped me shift my focus, take my my problems and help somebody else. I think so many times that's the key to getting you through difficult problems, you know, and also we're all going through a difficult time right now in one way or another. And sometimes the person on the receiving end could really use the encouragement, the, um, the help, whatever, whatever may come from it to really help them, you know, see another day and push through. And we always have something to lend. I always say, whether it's a helping hand, a prayer or a gift, you know, we, we always have something in our possession. And she definitely offered it right up. Now, Gary, he did see the post on Facebook. He didn't ask for money or handouts after seeing it. All he requested was leads on a good work from home job to relieve some of that strain on his hip. So if you know anyone looking to help or offer Mr. Gary a job, I'll have a link on our website, HoustonLife.tv. And a lot of people saw this on Facebook, a lot of the members of that private group. So they were ready to dish out cash or whatever he may need in order to keep him moving because this guy is older, but still going out every day to delivering those pizzas, so that's why her pizza was three hours late. Wow. Mm -hmm. My what goodness. a lovely story. It's so heartwarming, and it's great that she shared it online, because you know what, if we could all just spread a bit of kindness, yep. the world would be so much better. Sure would. Absolutely. Great Thank story. You, Joe. No problem. Yeah. All right, you guys, coming up, she's a local entrepreneur trying to impress Guy Fieri for the chance of a lifetime, but how much does she know about the mayor of Flavortown? Her name is Chelsea Sergeant Lyra, and we're going to find out more about her when you and life returns right after this. Don't go away. My newest, most exciting restaurant adventure is a fried chicken concept that I don't think the world has ever seen before. Who's hungry? And I'm on the hunt for a new brand ambassador, an uber talented entrepreneur that could prove that he or she could spread their wings and run my next franchise. <gasps> Run his franchise. That was celebrity <laughs> chef Guy Fieri talking about his new food network show, Guy's Chance of a Lifetime, an intense job interview like we've never seen before. Local entrepreneur Chelsea Sergeant Lira is a candidate to bring his business to Houston, and she joins us now to chat about this incredible opportunity. Chelsea, it is so nice to meet you in person. Hi. <laughs> and we've seen you on Houston Life before because you work with the Dumpling Dudes. Yes. yes. Let's talk about your time in the kitchen because these competition shows. It stresses me out just watching them, <laughs> oh, right? Me too. I don't like watching yeah. How is your experience nervous. doing this? Because you're really good at what you do. It's totally different, though, when you have to do it in front of a television And crew. timed. Yes. And yes. timed, right? You're being yeah. timed. And this is a show unlike any other competition show because it's a job interview. So it's not just me cooking, which I'm really great at because it's all these other elements that they add into it. It's never been done. They've never done a show like this before. So hold on. You're saying a job interview from Guy Fieri. So like I know you're supposed to impress the person you're trying to work for. What do you even start with with Guy Fieri? I mean, How do you impress him? You have blue hair. <laughs> <laughs> Right, right. He's a big fan of being out there and being true to yourself. So that's exactly how I tried to be throughout the whole entire um, process. And it's different because nobody really gets eliminated. So you have it's you're not really in competition in a way. I mean, they're your candidates, so they're not your um, competition. So we all, you know, just had to work with each other and just try to learn because there was just so much challenging things that they threw at us. Okay, you definitely piqued our interest. We will be tuning in to watch the show. <laughs> Let's talk about your road to Houston, Chelsea, because this is really interesting. Your dad is a petroleum engineer, so you really grew up all around the world. Oh, yes. You played golf in oh, college. Yeah. I had a full red golf wow. scholarship. Okay. I didn't go to culinary school because I don't give golf like scholarships to culinary school. Yeah. So uh, connect the dots for us. How did you go from golf to cooking, and what did you find that the cooking world offered you personally? Well, I always wanted to cook. I didn't really have drive to go to college and do it, but I, since I had a scholarship, my dad was like, you need to, you know, finish this. And it really helped me get into all my other jobs after college because I, you know, finished my degree and then I just worked my way up in the kitchen. I didn't go to culinary school, but I've, I mean, I started from the bottom. I've been doing this for now oh, 14 years, so... 
Um, well, you've got your own spot, Houston Grazing Tables. Tell everybody kind of what that means. What is a grazing table? So grazing table is just like everything that you could want to graze on. So our concept is kind of like cold food. We don't put out hot chafing dishes because then it could sit, it doesn't spoil, and you can graze for up to four hours on a beautiful presentation. I mean, it's all about you look with your eyes first. And I get so excited seeing people's reactions to when we set up the grazing tables because they're beautiful. I mean, that's why I love doing it. It's like a piece of art. They do look beautiful, and I know they take a lot of time to put together. <laughs> you want to win this competition show, and one of your dreams is to own a, a Chicken Guy franchise. Yeah, I want to bring one to Houston, and I mean, it's such a cool concept. It's fresh food. It's like fast, but it's never been frozen. It's brine chicken that you, you don't really get at other places. It's absolutely just delicious, and it's a Guy Fieri franchise. I mean, he's so amazing. He's got all these contestants, though. He's going to literally say, you're you're hired. I'm choosing you. Yeah. And I'm waiting yeah. for Okay. Basically, they they that's the, the they, that's what they tell us. So we whoever wins will get keys to the kingdom. So well, listen. Oh. Of course, we're rooting for you, Chelsea. You're going to be phenomenal. It's great having you, you in studio. Before we let you go, though, we want to test your knowledge, okay, <laughs> okay, about the mayor of Flavor Town himself. So Lauren yeah, and I, I, I know a little bit. We'll see how I do. Okay, all right. We're going to put you uh, to the test in a little game we like to call Rapid Fieri. Okay, get it. Get it. Like it, it is a rapid fire. I yes, it. it is simple. We're going to read a fact about Guy Fieri and using your paddle, Beatrice oh, is going to okay, hand you right you. now. You tell us if the statement is true or false. Okay. Okay. Let's All do right. it. okay, so I'm going to start with the first question. Although he is a confessed carnivore, when he was younger, Guy Fieri's family was not. Oh, yes, true. Yeah, that is true. Guy constantly okay. battled with his veggie-loving mom. He has said to FoodNetwork.com, my parents were all into macrobiotic cooking, natural cooking. My sister was vegetarian. I wasn't down with that. His picks, meatballs, pork chops, chicken parm, and steak. Yeah, sounds like flavor <laughs> town to me. All right, all right, here we go. Question number two. Before becoming a chef, Guy Fieri worked in the White House. Oh, that's false. That is correct. Guy, <laughs> Guy actually sold pretzels and washed dishes for six years to earn money to study in Chantilly, France. However, Ina Garden, Barefoot Contessa, did work in the White House Office of Management and Budget before buying specialty food stores. Oh, and I, love, I love her. So hey. cool. Different hey. celebrity chef. Okay, okay, I think we have time for one more. Okay. Guy Fieri had a syndicated newspaper column until 2019. True or false? I think that's false. I don't know about that one. Yeah, that was actually Wolfgang Puck who oh. had a syndicated column oh. called Wolfgang Puck's Kitchen. It appeared in 30 newspapers in the U.S., Canada, reaching more than 5.3 million people every single cool. week. I like three out of three. Chelsea, I think guys should just hire you on the spot after that, right? <laughs> Chelsea, Sergeant Lyra, it's great to finally meet you yes. in person. We are rooting for you, and uh, we know you're going to do it. Thank you so much. Yeah, do it all the way. Bring one to Houston. So. Absolutely, girl. We're rooting for you. All right, so catch Chelsea on Guy's Chance of a Lifetime Sunday at 8 p.m. on Food Network. And for more information, visit Seen on Houston Life section of our website at HoustonLife.tv. So exciting. So exciting. All right, after the break, a look at what's coming up on tomorrow's show when we'll save you money on your next vacation. All right, as we head to break, let's check in with Kevin Frazier for a look at what's coming up on entertainment tonight, including celeb couple news. Hey, Kevin. Lauren and Derek, make sure you tune into ET tonight for two big exclusives. First up, what's bringing Ashton Kutcher's ex, Demi Moore, together with his wife, Mila Kunis, plus our interview with Tarek El Moussa and his wife, Heather Ray Young. They're getting personal about their fertility journey. That's all tonight at 6.30 right here on KPRC2. But don't move, because Houston Life will be right back. Coming up tomorrow on Houston Life, it is National Plan for Vacation Day. We've got three top travel deals for spring break and beyond. Plus, the Grammy Award-winning Houston Chamber Choir is back with another free concert. Learn how to tune in to this amazing performance. And we want to share a few more of your responses to our question of the day. Earlier we asked, what is a purchase that you have had to hide? Let's go to Lori. She writes in, clothes. Unfortunately, I'll forget about that special hiding spot when I 
I finally find them, it's like a surprise to me. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> hopefully you find them um, sooner than later. Right. Like, what if 10 years goes by? Oh. You're like, oh my gosh, these shoulder pads are awesome. <laughs> They're making They'll come, a come back in style. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of shoulder pads, I was asking you during the commercial break, mm -hmm. like, what style of wedding dress you're going for. Mm -hmm. I do think the shoulder pads are a great, great look yes. for a you're wedding. You're right, um, but not for me. That, you know, <laughs> I'm going to stay away from the shoulder pads. I right. love that oh. me and Courtney like the strong shoulder. Right. Just not for a wedding dress. Not on your wedding no, day. No, maybe our viewers. Do it bare. Bare shoulders yeah. would be nice, too. I might need to try a couple on and ask our viewers to kind of, like, help me find go. the right style. I love I this truly, idea. <laughs> I just know that I want sparkles. Yeah. I want sparkles. Go. Sparkles everywhere. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong with that. <laughs> very, very nice. No shoulder pads, though. No shoulder Okay, <laughs> well, am I, if you don't look like a football player, it's not a wedding. So <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. Uh, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks to all of you for posting on our Houston Life Facebook page. We always love reading your comments. And uh, you had us cracking up during the commercial breaks. Oh, yeah. You guys are great for a Monday, that's for sure. Exactly. Right. Put us right into the week. Mm -hmm. Okay, Lauren and Joe, that does it for Houston Life today. We're going to send it on over to Keith and Christine in Studio A. Hey. Hey, I should have shown my shoulders in my wedding. I should have should worn a tank top. Oh. Yeah. Would that have been a look or like a tank top it. with a bow tie? A full vibe. Woo. It's your wedding. Your <laughs> hey, I, I see a vow renewal in your future. You know? I think Lisa, though, will have something to say about yeah, that. Yeah, well, maybe, but I, I'm, I don't know. It could be trendsetter. We'll just, we'll see. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you know I what? could only hope. It's and a Monday. You know, I'm just throwing whatever out there. Right. You could have sparkles like Lauren. Ooh, oh, yeah. yeah. Sparkles and a tank top. A sparkly tank top. There we go. Get the tank top. How about just we can do the only tie? Go up from here, guys. Yeah. Just the tie. Straight out of a show in Vegas. You guys have a wonderful evening. We'll see you, you tomorrow. Too.